in the previous playwright tutorial you have seen how to read the env file that means the configurations from the env file and how to pass on to the playwright test you have seen it in this playwright tutorial we are going to discuss about how to perform data driven testing using json file in playwright so here i will navigate to the vs code and i will create the one spec file as data driven testing json dot spec dot js so that's it so here i will go to the read env file spec file and simply i will copy the test here and i'll paste it here so that's it guys and here i will rename the test name as data driven testing using json file in playwright so that's it guys so let me explain what we are doing in this playwright test so in the line number seven so we are navigating to the url so we are reading the url from the configuration file so we are reading it from the dot env file so we are reading the google.com so after entering the google.com then we are identifying the search text box then we are entering the text as playwright by tester stock then we are clicking the sorry we are pressing the enter from the keyboard that's it guys so we are not doing much here so use case is very simple so we are going to the google.com and we are searching with the some keywords now if you see here in the line number 11 so we are passing the some test data right so we will see how to pass this particular test data from the json file so before we go ahead and create the test data file so let's run this test and we'll make sure that this test is perfectly working fine so that's it guys so if you see here output our test is getting passed so this is the expected behavior and so let's start creating the test data now so already i have created a folder so let me delete this particular folder so let's start creating it from the beginning just now i have tried it so i will create the one folder called test hyphen data and inside this folder i'm creating the another folder called qa and uh, based on the environment we can create the multiple folders here and inside the QA, I'm creating a one JSON file called google.json. So here I'm giving the file name as Google because we are keeping the Google search keywords inside the JSON file. So that's it guys. I have opened the JSON file now. So simply I will create the one JSON object here. So here I'll say the object name as module one test data that's it guys so simply i will open and close the flower brackets so here we have to add the keys and respective values guys that's it so here i'm adding the three keys and three values that's it guys so here i'm giving the key name as skill one and here i'm adding the value as I will go to the data driven testing json spec file so i am passing the very first search keyword as playwright by tester stock so this is the very first search keyword so then so this is the very first key and value and second key is skill 2 so here i am adding the value as cypress by tester stock and i am adding the skill 3 as javascript by tester stock so that's it guys so i don't want to create more data so i think three sets of test data is enough for me so we will see how to pass all these test data to the playwright test so we have the test data file is ready now so let's go to the spec file and here what i will do is so i need to 
use this particular test data. So that's the reason we have to import the this particular file in the data driven testing JSON spec file. So that's the reason here I will say import and followed by that I'm storing into the one object. So that's the reason simply I will give the object name as same name whatever we have in the JSON test data file. That's it. And now what I will do is simply I will write the keyword as from and here we have to pass the location of the test data file where we have where actually we have created the google.json file. So we have to specify the path of the test data file. So here I'm writing two dots that means it will focus on the our current project directory and here I will write the slash and inside this current folder. So we have to navigate to the test data then QA folder. So here I'm selecting the test data slash QA and slash. So if you have created multiple test data files, so you need to select the respective test data file. That's it guys. Now we have imported the our test data file in the current spec file now. So simply you need to take this object model one test data. Say for example, I want to pass the test data from JSON file to the this particular line. In this line, I want to pass the test data from the JSON file. So simply I will remove this and I will add the model one test data dot. So if you see here guys, it's already suggesting all the keys which are there inside the test data file, right? So let's pass the skill one now. That's it guys. Now if I run the test, so firstly we, we should be able to search with playwright by tester stock. And if you see here guys, so it has picked the data from the JSON file. That is a skill one value. And if you see the test, so our test is getting passed. Now this time, let's pass the skill three. So now we should be able to search with JavaScript by tester stock. So here I'll simply pass the skill three. And if I run the test, so we should be able to search in the Google search page as JavaScript by testers talk. And if you see here guys, so we are able to pass the respect to test data from the JSON file. So this is how you can read the test data from the JSON file. And this is how you can pass on to the playwright test. So far you have seen how to read the test data from JSON file and how to pass on to the playwright test. Now let's see how to perform the actual data driven testing in the sense how to pass the multiple sets of test data to the this particular test, right? So here what I'm doing is simply I'm writing the one for off loop. So here I'll say for off. By using the for off loop, I will get all the sets of test data from the this particular JSON file and we'll pass one at a time. So I will go to the spec file here. So what I'm doing is, so simply here I'm just using the object dot entries. So inside the entries, so I will pass the our JSON object. So that's it guys. So whenever we received, received a data from the JSON file, so that will be in the format of key and value. So that's the reason. So here I will save that into the key and value format. So that's it. So once we are having the test data in the form of key and value, so simply I will take this particular test and I'll keep it inside the for loop. So that's it guys. So we are done with creating the for loop. So we are able to get the test data. That means the JSON object values in the form of keys and values. So here I'm interested in only the value. So let's say for example, first time our test is running. So we are going to pass the playwright by tester stock. So whenever the second time our test is running, so we'll pass the Cypress by tester stock and so on. If you are having a multiple sets of test data like this. So that's it guys. It's very simple now. So simply I will add the single quotes here. And within the single quotes, I'm adding the dollar symbol and followed by open and close floor brackets. So I'm interested in only the values. So I want to read only this, these values one by one. 
and I want to pass on to the my playwright test. So that's the reason. So here I will take the only value from the JSON object and I will use this particular value inside the our test where we are actually passing the test data in the line number 14. That's it guys. So we are done with the implementation of how to pass the multiple sets of test data to the any single automation test. So if I run the test, so this test will get executed three times because we have the three sets of test data. So if I run the test, so it will start passing the very first test data called play right by tester stock. So it has passed the play right by tester stock. And then second time it is passing the Cypress by tester stock. And third time, so it is going to pass the JavaScript by tester stock. So this is how you can implement the data driven testing using JSON file in Playwright. And if you see here guys, so three test cases are got passed, right? So this is how you can implement the data driven testing using JSON file in Playwright.